marker of resilience. Ukraine's restoration of Snake Island border marker with a sense of determination and historical justice, Ukrainian border guards have replaced a border marker on Snake Island, which had been destroyed during the Russian occupation. Standing beside the newly installed yellow and blue coloured marker, State Border Guard Service, Head Sarai Dianiko declared historical justice was restored. This symbolic act resonates with the larger hope of reclaiming Ukrainian territory. Dmitro Usov from Ukraine's Defence Intelligence reflected on the sacrifices and the unbreakable resolve. We remember everyone who liberated Snake Island, and we will certainly return all our territory. The image of the restored marker stands as a poignant symbol of Ukraine's resistance and its vision for a future where the nation's boundaries are restored and respected. Tragedy in Kherson, children among the victims of Russian attacks. Despair and outrage have gripped Ukraine's southern Kherson region following a series of Russian attacks that claimed seven lids on Sunday. Among the victims were children. The youngest was under the age of two. Four people, including a family from the village of Shirokabalka, lost their lives, with a 12-year-old child succumbing to critical injuries in the hospital. Interior Minister Iho Klimenko mournfully noted, the whole family from Shirokabalka died. In the village of Stanislav, two more people were killed, and another was injured after the area was hit 12 times. Both villages had been previously occupied by Russia, but were under Ukrainian control since November 2022. The merciless attacks underscore the relentless brutality of the conflict, where even the most innocent become casualties of war. The enigmatic Wagner chief. Yevgeny Prigozhin remains at large while imprisoned Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny faces harsh punishment, the fate of Yevgeny Prigozhin, the head of the Russian mercenary group Wagner, remains astonishingly different. Despite leading an abortive mutiny against President Putin back in June, Prigozhin appears untouched by the Kremlin's wrath. Even more startling is his refusal to remain out of sight. He was recently spotted at the Rush Accra summit in St. Petersburg, shaking hands with a dignitary from the Central African Republic. This seemingly untouchable status raises questions and uncertainty. Prigozhin's shift from a militant figure to a polo shirt wearing diplomat sends mixed signals. The unexplained freedom of a man who challenged Putin's rule and whose forces were responsible for attacking Russian military targets stands as a perplexing enigma in Russian politics. It leaves observers wondering what secret pact or hidden agenda might be at play behind the Kremlin's walls.